Pikmin leaks are not at all an uncommon thing. Well, okay, I say that, but I've only actually, like, experienced one Pikmin leak that, like, had the ability, like, like some level of believability, and that was the the uh, now infamous orange Pikmin leak back with, uh, with Pikmin 4, where it was this big, I think, Reddit post where it was like, there's going to be orange Pikmin that have one eye, also, the main character's name is Palm. Game officially came out, no orange Pikmin, and there was a character customizer. So, the main character could be named whatever you wanted to name them. Um, and it, it, it was such a weird thing then, but it is nowhere near as strange as what we got today. This is the weirdest thing, because... So much about it is off that I almost feel like it makes it more believable that it could be real. Uh, and that is, of course, the... <laughs> so, the... At Garfield Movie News Twitter account. Okay. <laughs> it's just... Get that out of the way. The Garfield Movie News Twitter account... just posted today, well, actually a couple days ago, now that I'm looking at it, I'm just now seeing it today, uh, exclusive, here's a first look at official concept art for a potential Pikmin Dark Ride from Universal. Now look, you know me, I'm a theme park guy, I've made two big theme park videos, I would love this, I, I mean, obviously I would be ecstatic at a Pikmin dark ride coming to Universal. That would be amazing. It would be amazing. It, 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 it would be number one on the ranking, no matter what, even if it sucked. But anyway, um, here's where it gets complicated, though, because even though this idea is so cool, there is no basis for this at all. First off, Garfield Movie News. That alone is enough to make me very confused. Why is Garfield Movie News posting this? Why is why does Garfield Movie Why is Garfield Movie News the the only person with this information as far as I'm aware? I I mean I did a I need a brief look to see if anyone else had posted anything about it. It doesn't look like it. It's just Garfield Movie News and Garfield Movie News' account is strange. <laughs> to say the least. It's kind of a mix of, like, official news and announcements on random things and stuff that doesn't really have any basis. Though, actually, now that I'm looking... I'm, okay, I'm, I'm actually looking at it now. It actually looks... looks decent. I don't know. It's strange. It sure is strange. <laughs> but uh, the bigger thing... Let's actually talk about the concept art itself, okay? This is where things get get wild. So, everything about this concept art is kind of wrong. <laughs> like, which is, well, let's just talk about it. So, on the, for, front and foremost, we have this big ol', this big ol' picture. Um, and right off the bat, all the Pikmin, are really weird. They don't seem right at all. They all have ears, and most of them have mouths, which is not a thing. Um, the only Pikmin with ears are yellow Pikmin, and the only Pikmin with mouths are blue Pikmin. There's no Pikmin that has both ears and mouths. Strange. There's also one that doesn't have a stem. It, it, and I hate to say it, and it, it, it feels kind of like mistakes an AI would make. I'm not saying this is AI. It looks a little too cohesive to be AI, but who knows? I guess it could be. AI is getting more and more advanced. Uh, it seems to be from the perspective of someone in the actual ride vehicle looking onward. And we see some bulborbs, and they look pretty good. They Like, I don't... Nothing looks too off about the bulborbs. Pikmin are weird, though. And you have all the, this big... These cliffs, this lovely natural environment that you'd be riding through. Um, that's the... Even though it is the big picture, it is also the least interesting, because if we get to the bottom, we have the smaller pictures. Um, 
What is that? <laughs> what? <coughs> who? Homie, who are you? What is this thing? It... It kind of looks like a bulb orb. But... Wrong. It has... It has these, these like, sleepy eyes, a nose, antenna. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It looks huge, because you can see the silhouettes of two, like, humans. It's big. Maybe it's the ride entrance? I don't know. It's... It's bizarre. It's not like anything we've seen in a Pikmin game. At least as of now. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's Pikmin 4 DLC or something that's coming that'll... That'll introduce this thing as, like, the main antagonist, but... I don't know. Uh, and then we have... <laughs> we have 3D renders of what appear to be the ride vehicles and i love that it says pick men pods with the m capitalized that's not how it's stylized it, it, it's a lowercase then we got the the pikmin pods themselves which look very interesting it's an enclosed vehicle when and it like it like wraps around with this this like i assume like glass protection thing which to me says it's probably like all screens if I had to guess that's that's what it seems to be they're 3d renders this is like my thing right is like if this is fake this is so much effort to put to a fake leak with mistakes <laughs> like, you know like the flaws almost make it more convincing to me that it could be real because like the, these mistakes like if you put this much effort into like a Pikmin ride th these are so many accidents to let happen um also, I just noticed that on the top it says it says Pikmin again, like with the, the uppercase M. Uh, then we have more concept art of the ride vehicles, and I this is like my favorite. I love these these designs. I love love that top right one, like especially that one is really cool. They all look very Pikminy. They kind of look like a com like a combination of like an onion and the uh, the Odyssey from Super Mario Odyssey. The, the airship you're riding around on, that's that's what it reminds me of. Very interesting. And then our final picture, we have a, a bulb orb, I guess, with the antenna again, it's weird, and a, uh, a pellet posy. So overall, I have no idea what to make of this. <laughs> like, I, there's, I want it to be real so badly. You don't understand, like, this would make my day if this was real, but it's so weird. So I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's the, uh, the that's the end of the video because like I, I don't know if it's real or not. I really want it to be. And my thing is also like, Pikmin is Miyamoto's thing. It's, a, it's his little passion project that he's never gonna let die, <laughs> you know? He loves it too much. And I could totally see him with his influence that he has being like, hey, I want I want the Pikmin ride in Universal, and that could have been part of the initial deal. But also, I don't know, it's it we'll see. We will see. Um, I guess it's also possible it could be like exclusive to Universal Japan or something, and we won't even get to ride it here in the United States unless we go to Japan. So who knows? I just sure I sure don't. <laughs> Um, I like doing these little, these little business casual videos, and I guess we'll, you know what, it, here's the test, if this video gets, like, a copyright claim, <laughs> then, and I take it down, then I guess we know it was real, um, and if not, then it still could be real, uh, so that's it, um, I love you.